for San Antonio caught on tape. Ken Smythe talks exclusively with a man who captured this video. Object. Traveling that way, going east, I see a commercial aircraft going around, and none of these seem to be that. We're here today live, Central Texas, SAU 48. Today, SAUFOTX, San Antonio, Texas. My name is Mario Vallejo, and I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself and a DVD that I'm going to be appearing in entitled Alien Finders. It's going to be produced by Jeff Willis of Phoenix, Arizona. My part of this DVD is going to consist of footage taken between 2010 throughout 2011 and recent 2012 footage. Now all my footage has been taken on the southeast side part of town. I have been using a Handycam, Sony, Hi8 with the night shot. Also I've been using a Panasonic that I'm using to record. These two cameras have been doing a great job. Now all these objects that I've been recording do not appear to be any aircrafts. I have lived by military bases all my life. Now San Antonio has plenty of military bases. I've lived by Lackland Air Force Base, I lived by the airport, I lived by the Stinson Airfield, and now I live by Medical Brooks Army Airfield. Now, I have been accustomed to seeing aircraft and none of these objects that I've been filming seem to be that. I have also researched heavens above, logged on to the charts, studied them, and none of the objects I've recorded appear to be any of these satellites. They do not coincide with the times. Now, a lot of these objects that I've been recording seem to be emitting their own energy. In other words, they have their own propulsion. These objects travel at a steady and constant speed. Now over the years, I have accumulated a large amount of footage. A lot of my footage has been uploaded to YouTube. Sightings consist of glowing orbs that seem to emit their own glow. October 30, 2010. Multiple sightings of UFOs were caught on video tape. These orbs were clearly interacting with each other. First sighting took place around 4.45 p.m. A glowing orb was videotaped hovering high in altitude. A short time later, another orb comes into view and passes by. These orbs were clearly interacting with each other. Then another orb comes into view and almost makes contact. Later on, multiple orbs were videotaped traveling southeast high in altitude. These orbs were traveling side by side at a constant speed and elevation 
they remain the same throughout the sighting. In the month of December of 2010, multiple orbs were videotaped hovering and traveling high in altitude. These orbs were clearly not aircrafts. January 22, 2011, a glowing orb was observed and videotaped traveling northeast high in altitude. A short time later, another orb comes into view and almost collides. It then takes off in an opposite direction. April 2nd, 2011, a UFO was videotaped traveling northwest. This UFO seemed to rotate or morph as it traveled overhead. January 7, 2012, multiple UFOs were videotaped and observed traveling overhead. Sightings include a glowing orb traveling south. Later that day, another UFO was filmed traveling east. Sightings consist of glowing orbs that seem to emit their own glow. March 3, 2012. Multiple glowing orbs were observed and filmed overhead. The first sighting was of a glowing orb traveling slowly overhead. Later, another orb was filmed traveling in it southern direction. July 7, 2012. At first, a UFO was filmed high in altitude, then another orb seems to come into view and interact with this UFO. Glowing orbs that seem to emit their own glow. UFOs were observed and filmed interacting with each other. A sighting that took place September 14, 2011 seemed to be of a huge craft. No navigational lights. I never seen any of those light configurations on any aircraft before. September 14, 2011. A UFO craft was videotaped traveling this overhead. Man. This was no ordinary orb. Oh my god, that shit looks crazy. It appears to be a huge solid structure craft traveling overhead. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> At times, it seems to be a triangle shaped craft. Oh my god. After some try, the craft appears to tilt, rotate at an angle. This is first time I ever looked. No FAA anti-collision lights could be observed. We are live today in San Antonio, Texas. SNUFOTX. Today live in San Antonio, Texas, SA UFO TX. Now Texas are becoming a hotspot for UFO sightings. A lot of hot sightings have been coming from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I myself have contributed to those sightings. I've witnessed and filmed orbs, other crafts that seem to be rotating at a spin. I've filmed objects numerous times. That travel with each other, showing some kind of intelligence because they're not balloons, they're not aircrafts, they are some kind of controlled objects overhead. March 22nd, 
26, 2011. Two glowing orbs were filmed traveling northeast high in altitude. No FAA oh navigation or anti collision lights were visible. These glowing orbs were traveling at a constant speed and the same elevation. May 5, 2011. A glowing orb was observed traveling southeast, low in altitude. Reference points at street tops can be observed. No FAA anti collision lights were observed. This is where I have most of my sightings all around this area. Now, the last couple of years, I've gotten lucky and recorded what I believe are unidentifiable UFOs around this area on the southeast side of San Antonio, Texas. Now, my knowledge comes from years of observation, looking at the skies, witnessing everything overhead. I've seen just about everything. I've seen commercial aircraft, I've seen helicopters, I've seen weather balloons, I've seen minor balloons, I've seen dust, birds, you name it. And all these objects that I've been filming are not any of those. May 27, 2012. A green UFO orb was observed traveling low in altitude. You can see the treetops as a reference point. No FAA anti-collision lights could be observed. Watch out, Rizzo, watch out. Now all these objects seem to be controlled. They don't have any FAA navigational lights. Now all these objects seem to be glowing, emitting their own light. Uh, some of them do reflect the sunlight, but not as many. I've filmed a lot of objects that do not seem to be any aircrafts. I would like to find out what these objects are. I would like to thank Jeff Willis for giving me the opportunity to let to share my story and share some of my videos on this DVD. Thank you, and uh, we'll be seeing y'all. We're here live today in San Antonio, Texas. It's a UFO TX. It's to be hovering. Oh, look at that now, it's moving. The chain information.
back at all, see? Oh my god, there's three of them now. Oh, that is awesome. Come from. Look at that, you can see it. Oh man. My hands shake. My hands shaking to me. They're about to pull me though, man. That is awesome. I could ever see what could be situated a little bit more, but they're closing up in on them. They're getting closer. As There it is, perfect. Let's see what's up. Oh, fuck, look at that. Oh, that is crazy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh man, that's crazy.
Oh, lost fish. Oh my god, well, I got two bright lights right here. I don't see no navigation on lights. Oh, that was a bright object. It's crazy shit. There's a plane going up that way. Oh, look at that. I don't know what you like to do with the moon. Is that the moon right there?
Oh, look at this. Broad daylight. I don't know what this object is, but... Trying to keep as steady as I can, but... It's traveling as it's going. This thing's spinning. I don't believe there's an object in there. It's my first time in a month.
Oh, look at that. It's crazy. Austin. Cool. 